Hello everybody, it's Musical Moves, Toys and Stuff, Stories and Stuff, Stories and Stuff, it's Musical Moves, Toys and Stuff, welcome friends. Welcome everyone to Musical Moves, Stories and Stuff, I'm Miss Kathleen, Slim the Guitar is here and if you have joined us for story time before, you might know this song that Slim has in mind. Now I'm going to sway to the music. Can you sway with me? Oh, that's nice. As a matter of fact, that's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. Fly, sugar, rise. Let's all stretch up as high as we can. Very nice. I feel like moving around in my fancy socks here. Thank you for help, helping me sort my socks a couple weeks ago. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. Rise, sugar, rise. Wonderful. You want to jump? Did I hear somebody say they wanted to jump? Well, let's try it. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. Rise, sugar, rise. Oh, that was nice. Well, just as long as you didn't say flap your wings like a chicken, because whenever I flap my wings like a chicken, I turn into a chicken. And you don't want that, do you? What? You want to do that? You want to flap, flap your wings like a chicken? Mm, I don't know, because you might turn into a chicken too. Well, just in case, oh, I better put Slim right in his sleeping bag here where he's safe. All right, I'll try it. But remember, I warned you. Ready? That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. Wah! 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 Oh, it happened! I knew it! I knew it! I knew that would happen. Did you turn into a chicken too? Hmm. Well, in case you didn't, maybe if I try it again, I won't turn into a chicken this time. Are you sure you want to try it? Are you absolutely positive? Okay, here we go. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. That's a mighty pretty motion, dee da dee. Rock, 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 rock. It happened again. Did you turn into a chicken too? Oh, maybe we better sing another song next time we get together. I don't know about that one. Especially that flapping the wings, all that business. But you know, speaking of that, when I went out for a walk in my fancy shoes, lately I've noticed a lot of birds. They were flying, they were singing. All sorts of things I noticed overhead. There were birds flying and honking softly together in a V shape like that. And I do believe they weren't chickens. No, no, they were Canada geese. And they're coming back to live with us here in our part of the world now that spring is here. So that's great. There are a lot of birds that are with us all year long. They, and then other ones come back to live with us in the summer. One bird that's with us all year long, but makes a very pretty sound and is singing in spring songs is a bird that looks like this. Have you seen a red bird that looks like that? This is a northern cardinal. Oh, listen to that. That's a lovely sound. And they have all sorts of sounds. And one 
bird that says spring to me when I hear it is the bird I have a recording of. Here I'm going to play for you here in just a moment. Yeah. And that is our friend Robin. Yes. I love Robins. Nothing says spring to me like that sound. Of course, then there is the bird that is my favorite that's with us all year long. A little bird. And that bird makes a sound like this in the springtime. Maybe you've heard that song, like a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. There's another sound of that bird. It's my favorite bird, the chickadee, the black cap chickadee. And uh, I know a couple of songs about chickadees. And uh, let's sing one together here. How many chickadees do, I, do, do you see here? Let me pull this a little bit closer to you so you can see these chickadees better. There we go. There, I'll pull a little closer to you too. How's that? One chickadee, two, three, four, five. Five little chickadees and it just so happens we have five fingers on a hand, don't we? So let's count. Five little chickadees sitting by the door. One flew away, and then there were four. Chickadee, chickadee, happy and gay. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. If you want the chickadee to fly away, just put, it be put your hands behind you. Now, how many chickadees do we have? Four, of course. Four little chickadees sitting in a tree. You make a tree. One flew away. Oh, and then there were three. There's a way to make three, or you can make three like that. Chickadee, chickadee, happy and gay. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. How many chickadees now? Three. Three little chickadees are looking at you. One flew away, and then there were two. Chickadee, chickadee, happy and gay. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. Two little chickadees sitting in the sun. One flew away, and then there was a one. Chickadee, chickadee, happy and gay. Chickadee, chickadee, fly away. One little chickadee sitting all alone, it flew away, and then there were none. Chickadees, chickadees, happy and gay, chickadees, chickadees, fly away. Oh, thanks for helping me with that song. I love chickadees, as I said, and I had a chance to meet one up close. It was one little friendly chickadee that would come to my yard to eat the bird seed I put out and at one of them actually let me feed it by putting some seeds on the end of a little plank of wood. And then it flew on my pant leg to say thank you. I was so thrilled. If I was very quiet and didn't make any sudden moves, the chickadees let me get closer to them so I could watch them. I didn't try to pick them up, but it was fun to get a little closer to see those fascinating sweet little birds. They're, they're pretty friendly as birds go. So anyway, speaking of birds, a lot of birds are out and about these days. They're very busy. And what are those birds doing? Well, many of them are building nests. And I have a story I'd like to tell you with a little piece of paper here about a mama and a papa bird, and it being spring, they decided to build a nest. So, you know, a lot of bird nests are, are shaped like bowls. So I'm going to cut a piece of paper here 
and turn this into a bowl shaped nest just like that. And when they had built the nest, Mama Bird found it a very nice place to rest while she laid an egg. Oh, and there's the egg right there. So Mama Bird had to sit in that nest all the time though to keep that egg inside warm and protected. She sat there in the sunshine. She sat there in the rain. She sat there all the time and it got a little lonely sometimes, but once in a while, a little bug would come, keep her company like these two little guys here did. And she sat there and sat there keeping that egg inside the nest nice and warm and safe. Well, one day while Mama Bird was sitting there, she felt and heard a little crack in the egg. And then she heard another little crack. The egg was cracking. Could the egg be hatching? She wondered. She listened and then she soon heard a great big cracking sound and another. And she knew then, indeed, that egg was about to hatch. So, sure enough, it did. And when it did, what came out, I think you know, it was a little bird. And I think you knew the end of that story, didn't you? It's a fun story to tell. All you need is a piece of paper and a scissors. And you just fold your paper in two. And when you cut the shape of the bowl, make sure the folded side is on the top. And the two bugs for company are the eyes of the bird. You make a couple of little snips for the big little cracks and big snips through the big cracks, and then you have your bird popping out of the, the egg to say hello. Yeah, maybe you can try that story at home. So, well, thanks for listening, Anne. Thanks for sitting quietly for that story. I think it's time to move around a little bit. Now, uh, one of my favorite songs about birds is a motion song. And if you are facing me, this side is your left side. And this side is your right side. Here's how it goes. Up, up in the sky, the little birds fly. Down, down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, let dear little birdie sleep all the night. The bright sun comes up, the fog rolls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. And you can make bird sounds. Tweet, 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 honk, 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 honk. Ew. <laughs> all kinds of bird sounds. Bark, bark. Let's try it again. Up, up in the sky, the little birds fly. Down, down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, let dear little birdies sleep all the long night. Get ready. The bright sun comes up, the fog rolls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. And you can make all kinds of fun sounds for your birds. Because that's a bird. That's a bird. And all sorts of birds make some really cool sounds. You know, I've been doing a little reading about the land of Australia and some of the interesting birds there. And one bird 
that has a really neat sound is called a kookaburra. It's about the size of a hawk, oh, and it's a member of the kingfisher family. We have kingfishers here in our country too, but the kookaburra has a really cool call. Let me play you a recording. there's a little song about a kookaburra. Maybe you know it. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Very, very king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay, your life must be. The kookaburra sits in a gum tree. That's a, a kind of a tree that is in Australia in a wooded area called a bush. So, Try that song with me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Very, very king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. That is actually a round. Do you remember when I mentioned a round in another story time? Where you sing a line of the music and then somebody else can join in on the next, on the first line while you're singing the next line. And you can do that with this song. Listen to my recording. I'm going to sing along. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Very Kookaburra Mary sits in the old gum tree. Mary, Mary, king of the bushes, see. Yeah, Kookaburra love. Kookaburra, love. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. So there's another round for you to learn and try. Now, if you're going for a walk, or even if you're looking out the window or playing in your yard, you will hear and see a lot of birds this time of year. And that reminds me of something that I did once on a walk. I made a little bird kite to take on my walk with me. And this is a very simple thing to make. Let me get a little closer to you. The bench is a little far away here. And I have a table here with some crafty things on it. You can't really see it here, but I'll, I'll pull it up for you. So what I did to make the kite is I just took a regular sheet of paper and I folded it in two. And then I just turned down the corners on this side. And on this side, and I used a staple, but you could use tape too. I staple those down. So it looks like that. And then I put an eye on it. I made a little beak. I found some orange paper to make a little beak for my bird. And then I put a little hole punch. And if uh, this is something that you might want a grown up to help you with. A little hole punch here on the bottom and then I just strung some yarn that I wasn't using on there and I wound it up on a little piece of cardboard. So when I go outside, my bird kite follows me and I put a little frou-frou. This is just some uh, tissue paper left over from a, a gift bag that I put on the end there. So you can make all kinds of bird kites there. That's fun. But that actually is not homework. You have homework. And in order for us to find out what that is, let's call upon our friend Bingo the dog. Bingo is in his doghouse right now, and I'm noticing something about his doghouse. You might have noticed. The last time we visited with Bingo, he had a G on his house, and the G is gone. Now what letter is the only one left? It is the letter O. There, like an egg, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So when we sing Bingo's name in his song, let's clap one, two, three, four times and just say the letter O sound. Let's try it. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's try it now. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. excited yes it's story time oh you could hardly wait because you have some homework for us don't you bingo mm -hmm. what's our homework today oh he said if you have a chance to look outside or play in the yard or even go for a safe walk today take a look and take a listen for the sounds of the birds around you and if you look at a bird then you can, when, you, when you're home, when you're inside where you have um, crayons or, or paper, maybe your journal, you can draw a picture of the bird that you saw. That's a good assignment. That's good homework, Bingo. Oh, there's another piece of homework, Bingo said. And also, this is for kids and grown-ups. Did you know that baby birds are not born? singing their songs? No, they're born with the ability to learn songs, but it's actually the grown-ups around them that teach them the songs that they sing. And just like birds, we human beings aren't born singing. We might be born with to be able to sing, but we need help learning our songs. So grown-ups, if you have a favorite song, please sing. Please sing to your kids. And kids, maybe there's a song that you know that your grown-ups don't know. So you can share a song with them, too. So everybody sing. That's a good piece of homework. Bingo. Oh, well. Well, goodbye for now. We'll put Bingo back in his doghouse there. See you later, Bingo. And I hope to be with you again through video story time. Thanks for joining me for for today's story time and get out there and look and see what birds you can find. Speaking of singing, let's sing a goodbye song together. By and by, by and by, star shining number, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, oh my. By and by, by and by, oh my. Bye and bye. See you next time.